If you're anything like me, the most difficult part of any project is starting it and finishing it. I'm a very momentum-based person. Once I'm actually started, it's not too bad. I can keep going and actually continue doing what I want to do until I get to any sort of roadblock. Over the years, I've started and stopped many different hobbies, many different projects, and just left a pile of unfinished garbage in my wake. But over those same years, I've also been able to come up with a few techniques to actually get that snowball rolling to gain that momentum and allows my brain to enter that beautiful, dopamine-rich paradise known as actually achieving something, even if it is just for a brief moment until something mildly inconvenient gets in my way. In this video, I wanted to share some of these tips. On the off chance, it might help someone out there who's very similar to me and struggles to start projects. I'm not going to sit here and claim that any of these tips are going to be the miracle cure for procrastination. But at the very least, I hope some people out there do find some value in these tips. So without further ado... Before you immediately click off the video, I know just do it isn't really good advice. If starting projects was as simple as just do it, then everyone would be able to start projects. But it's not. Motivation has to come from somewhere, and sometimes that is very difficult. At my worst, my executive dysfunction had me staring at walls instead of just doing anything that I had to do. Getting started with anything always comes with a first step. So that's why I say just do something. And that something is the most basic form of whatever the project is. You might be thinking, oh, just do one model for Warhammer, for example. No even simpler. Oh, just do like one weapon? No, no, no. Even simpler. That something can be as small as I'm going to fill my pot or my mug with water. That's the kind of level I'm thinking. Don't even think about what you want to paint or what you want to do. Just get the components together. When I'm making these videos, the first thing I think of doing is plugging in my microphone. I'm not thinking about the words I need to say. I'm not thinking about the editing I need to do. I'm not thinking about all that stuff. I'm just getting the microphone plugged in. And that's the first step, that tiny first step, just doing something helps me gain that momentum and eventually it'll get there. To make this even easier on yourself, make all the things you want to do for your project much more accessible. Sometimes the thing that stops me from starting a project is the fact that I have to go all the way over there to get something for it. Nowadays, I put all my paints and brushes and stuff in a drawer right next to me at the desk where I do most things. So if I want to get anything started, it's really not that far to get stuff out. And this could be even as small and as simple as if you've got a program you use for a project, having that program on your taskbar, any small convenience, any small wins like that you can muster up may help you actually get stuff started. No one said you had to do a project on your own, so make it someone else's problem. Having external accountability is so, so important for me. I enjoy going to the gym quite a lot, but I probably wouldn't go as often as I do without a training partner. Most of the time, you're your own worst enemy. Unless you're one of those weird people that's actually able to self-discipline, probably more likely to come up with a bunch of excuses as to why you don't want to do a thing or why you can't do a thing instead of actually just doing the thing. If you've got someone else who's in a similar situation, holding each other accountable is quite useful. Or even just doing hobbies together as a group is a very good way of getting stuff done. If you don't think you have anyone around, use me. Leave in a comment below what you want to work on and I'll chase you to the ends of the earth until you complete them. I certainly struggle to start projects if it's not exactly on the forefront of my mind. Conversely, I want to start a bunch of projects if they are on the forefront of my mind. I recently got into a lot of Mario Maker 2 content, and now I really want to go make a bunch of Mario Maker 2 levels. I haven't played Mario Maker 2 in like five or six years, and this is all I'm thinking about right now. Which of course makes it very, very difficult to actually do the things I want to be doing, like Warhammer, the stuff I've already invested in. So for me, going and watching some content around the stuff that I actually want to do is really useful. So going to watch a bunch of hobby videos about Warhammer motivates me to actually go and do Warhammer because it becomes the forefront of my mind. This is also probably the reason why I start so many different hobbies and projects, but it's because I see something and go, ooh, that looks like fun, try it for a bit, have a good time, then stop when it gets a bit too difficult. Are you ever in a position where just you cannot get the motivation? Try as you might, you just can't seem to get it started, you just can't get it into your head, you can't get to just doing the things you want to do. And it's just eating away at your mind slowly but surely, sending you into a spiral of depression, which makes it even more difficult to get started. When you're in that situation, when you're in that point mentally and you just can't find a way to start, the answer is don't. Sometimes the motivation is just not going to be there. And the last thing you want to do is make yourself feel even worse because you're trying to make that motivation come out of thin air. For me, what I like to do is just put it out of my mind entirely. Don't even think about it at all. That motivation or that want to do that thing will come around again eventually. And you don't want to miss out on that opportunity because you've been so annoyed and so down in the dumps trying to drum up any sort of motivation that just was never going to come. I don't want to claim that this piece of advice is going to get you out of any sort of low mental state you might be in. But for me personally, trying to just stop that room 
ruminating death spiral is the first step to them being able to come back happier, more motivated, and actually get stuff done. I was actually in this state less than a month ago. I went to play Sonic Frontiers, which was certainly a video game. Breath of the Hedgehog was a bold choice, but it was kind of fun. But the main thing it did was stop that mental death spiral. Like I said before, you're your own worst enemy. So any sort of outlet you can find to distract yourself from yourself is going to be a useful tool. Let me know in the comments below if you found any of these tips helpful, or if any of these tips resonated with you, or any tips that you have that might help motivate people to start their projects. Or if you are really, really struggling with any of this stuff, a YouTube video is not going to help you. If you can, seek professional help. A lot of the advice here, even for myself, probably wouldn't be worth nearly as much if I wasn't medicated for my ADHD. But I understand that sometimes it takes a long time or a lot of money to get the help you might actually need. Like point three, if you needed someone to hold you accountable to get you motivated externally to go and get help if you do need it, let this video be that motivation. Whether it's reaching out to friends or family or seeking out professional help from your GP or doctor or whatever it is, it's well worth it. And starting that journey now is the best time to start. But well, that'll be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.